Hello sugars, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing tips when farming candy and wickery clips. That will give you lots of candy. Let's get on with the video. I'm going to be making time stamps in the video of each farming way tips. In my opinion, I think apple bobbing was really helpful since, if you are busy, doing schoolwork, or anything, apple bobbing was the best to farm candies if you are busy or doing schoolwork, etc. But after the royal owing update came out, Barbie limited apple bobbing, which you can only apple bob 10 times, due to people using auto clicker, which is pretty annoying. There was a hack you can use, but Barbie fixed it. So the only tip for apple bobbing is, I like to use it when I just want extra candy without doing much, or when I'm lazy. My first tip is to take off all of your accessories, skirts, heels, because it will be easier. So you won't kick the candies. This part is optional, but when trick or treating, you can knock on various doors in a row so you can collect your candies faster. If you're on PC, instead of clicking the button, click on E, it's faster to ring the doorbell that way. And then you can collect your candies after knocking on the doors. Make sure that you are running. If you choose not to knock on various doors in a row, what you can do is instead of getting the close to the door, stand in the middle of the porch, or far away, so the monsters doesn't kill you. Yes, there's monsters in houses if you knock on the door sometimes. If the monster is there, run in circles quickly or else you will die. After that, run the doorbell. I can guarantee you that the monster is gone. When trick or treating, do not run into the big pile of leaves, it will make you slower. So it's going to be really annoying, so avoid them. By the way, what's your guys' favorite candies? One of my favorite candies is Smarties, because they make me smarter. Also, make sure you'd not leave any candy behind. Every candy matters, guys. If you're not going to zoom in into your character, the first thing you're going to do is take all of your accessories off. I think it's so much easier. Grab a ghost gun. Change your filter to colorful brightness. Grab a headlamp. A lot of people say you should not wear the night vision goggles. I don't know which is the best, but a lot of people say it's better without it so if you want, you don't have to wear them. When ghost shooting, if you see a medium or a huge size ghost, shoot the ghosts, shooting the ghosts will give you lots of candies. Here is the ghost values someone made. These are all of the ghosts and the candies you will get if you shoot them. It'll read the tips to you guys. If you want, you can shoot in first person. I like to do that a lot. Since for me, it's easier to shoot the ghosts. The next tip is play with your friends. It's faster. Playing with friends helps so much, which I'll explain why soon. And you should always remember to empty and refill your ammo and vacuum. Remember, have fun. The reason why playing in a private server with friends is so much better is because when you play in a public server, when you capture a huge ghost with tons of people capturing the big ghost as well, it will divide the candies. So you will get less candies. I recommend having at least three to five friends is the best because the less people, the more candy you will get. But if you're playing alone, you won't make it in time when capturing ghosts. So make sure you play with at least three to five friends. Another tip is, if you see any of your friends trying to capture a ghost, join in with them. You both will get some candy. You will also get some candy for teamwork. I'm pretty sure. Make sure you always keep track on your ammo and vacuum. Make sure you are running as well, because you're going to be faster. If you ran out of ammo, go back to where you spawned into the game. 
If you are on PC, click on E so it will be faster. To get rid all of your vacuum, go here. If you choose not to go on first player, make sure to get rid on your roleplay name, so your name won't be in the way when shooting ghosts. After doing all of that work on Wiggery Cliffs, collect candy bowls around campus. 3. There's also a candy bowl in the front office. They give you a lot of candies. I would say maybe a hundred candies. You will have to wait every hour. There is more candy bowls around campus, but I won't be showing all of the candy bowls for this video today. This is all for this video. I hope this video helped you. Please subscribe, like and comment for more videos anyways. Bye sugars.